Hello. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use Node-RED and Apple HomeKit together. Let's get started. First, we need an Apple Home Hub. As you can see here, according to Apple, you need either a HomePod, Apple TV, or you can even use an iPad. I myself am using an iPad. For this video, I opened Apple Home on my iPad and will add another home I'll call Test Home. I'll go ahead and do that now. In the upper right hand corner, we'll press the plus and then we'll choose Add New Home. So for home name, I'll just type in Test Home. And then press Save. So now I've got another home I'm calling Test Home. Now we'll flip back to Node Red. In the upper right hand corner, we'll click on the hamburger icon and then click on Manage Palette. On the Install tab, under Search Modules, we'll type in HomeKit. And what I'm looking for is Node Red Contrib HomeKit Bridged. So I'll go ahead and click on Install and Install again. This doesn't take very long to install, maybe 10 seconds or so. Now that it's finished, we'll go ahead and click on Close. Now we'll scroll through the list of nodes and locate the Apple HomeKit. There's the HomeKit node, so we'll go ahead and drag this out. Now we'll double click this. And for service, you can see that there's all kinds of different types of devices that we could use. In this case, I'm going to choose light bulb. And for bridge, we're going to add a new HomeKit bridge. So for this name, we'll just call this Test Bridge. I'll leave everything else at the defaults and click on Add. And now back at the HomeKit node, for name, I'll use Raspy Lead. And then click Done. Now I'll click Deploy. Notice the numbers under this HomeKit node. We're going to need these numbers when we go to add this into our Apple Home. So let's flip back to the iPad. On the iPad, we'll press Add Accessory. And then we'll press I don't have a code or cannot scan. Now you can see it already sees the test bridge, so we can press that. For uncertified accessory, we'll press add anyway. And now we'll type in the numbers that we saw back on the node red page. six, and these numbers will be different every time you do this. So now I'll press continue. So the bridge location, I'm just going to say living room and continue. The bridge name is fine. Press continue. So now the bridge has been added to test home. So now it's going to want to walk me through adding this new accessory. So the accessory name, raspy lead, I'll click continue can leave it in the living room. We'll leave the light name as it is, Raspy Lead. I'm going to skip the automations. We'll leave those off. And now the light was added and I can click Done. Now we see that there's a living room light bulb icon called Raspy Lead. If I press it, you'll see it'll turn on. 
If I press it again, it'll turn off, just like you would expect. Let's go back and take a look at the Node Red screen and overlay it with the iPad screen. And notice right below this node, when I'm pressing this, it says on is true, on is false. So it's updating in real time. Now we'll flip to just the Raspberry Pi screen. Let's scroll up and drag out a debug node. And then wire these two up. I'll click on deploy. And then change this to the debug messages. So on the iPad, when I press this uh, light bulb icon, you can see the message that's coming out. On is true. When I press this again to shut it off, you'll see on is false. You can see that the output of this node, the object name is on, and it'll either be true or false. The Raspberry Pi configuration actually wants a Boolean true or false. So we're going to have to add a few other nodes in here for this to work correctly. We'll go ahead and delete this debug node. We'll start off by dragging out a switch node. And we'll double click it to go to the properties. Using the information that we got from our debug node, you can see that the object name is on. So the property we're going to look for is on. So now for the condition, we'll look for is true. And we'll add another condition that is false. Again, true and false are being output. And we're scoping this to the on object. We can go ahead and click done. We'll now wire these two together. Now we'll drag two change nodes out. Put one up here and another down here. We'll double click this top change node and we'll call this one true. And we'll set the message payload to a Boolean true and click done. Now we'll double click this second change node. We'll call this false. And we'll change this to a Boolean false. So in the output of this switch node, if it's true, we want it to go to the true change node. And if the output is false, we want this to go to the input of the false change node. So now finally, let's go ahead and add the Raspberry Pi. We'll use the RPI GPIO out node. Drag this out here. We'll double click it to go to the properties. We're going to choose pin 40 digital output and click done. So now we can wire both of these outputs to the one GPIO input. So now I'll click on deploy. I'm leaving the iPad screen up so you can kind of see that for just a few seconds after I click deploy, the iPad will quickly disconnect from this and then reconnect. It'll take just a couple moments, but it'll come back. Now that we have all this set up, let's take a look at the actual LED. Right now it's on. On the iPad, when I press the light bulb, we'll turn it on. And now, pressing it again, shuts off the LED. When I press it, it turns on. When I press it again, it turns off. Now we can also use Siri. Turn on the raspy LED. 
The raspy lead is on. Turn off the raspy lead. Okay, the raspy lead is off. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.